Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated on our local forecast. Now we have a weak cold front coming through the area, but it's going to take a long time to actually make it through the area. So scattered showers this morning and perhaps a pop up shower or even a thunderstorm south of eight mile this afternoon. That's a smaller chance than what we have this morning. And even this morning's activity is going to be spotty. So some of us get a shower, some of us don't. It's very dry out. You probably notice the colors changing on the trees, leaves falling off, all shriveled up. The trees are stressed because it's been so dry. We need some soaking downpours for a good day, and we don't have any of that in the forecast. In fact, wait till you see the, the seven day forecast. But tomorrow, the front still not too far away, so we still have that potential for scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm during the day. And then if you don't get anything really meaningful today or tomorrow, We'll say goodbye to rain for a while. And again, I'll show you that in a second. So today, lots of clouds could see some sunshine develop, particularly mid to late afternoon. Spotty showers this morning and maybe a few pop ups, especially south of eight mile this afternoon. Temperatures reaching the mid 70s as an average for a high, probably closer to 70 up in the thumb and perhaps even mid to upper 70s down along Lenaway and Monroe counties. So a similar day tomorrow. So basically a couple of days in the 70s with more clouds than sun and some scattered showers. Then we start to get back to the sunshine on Wednesday and we get back to the 80s as well. Wednesday night begins Rosh Hashanah and that is uh, the full day is on Thursday. Some people actually celebrate into Friday as well. 80s. 80s through the week into the weekend and look at this. We're going to have the sunshine Wednesday through Sunday. Spartans are home against Notre Dame. That's a big game. Great tailgating weather there and also Lions are home against the Falcons on Sunday. That's a big game and it looks like great tailgating weather on Sunday outside of Ford Field as well.